Hello, Panther. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. Um, I was doing a reading, and I got stopped in the middle of it. Shocker. So, I actually pulled up the clarifiers, and um, I'm going to re-clarify. But your base is laid out, uh, just to get a good overall energy, and an overall idea of what is going on with you guys. And it seems like you guys were really doing a lot of um, nostalgia and thinking about the past and thinking about what could have been different and trying to balance things out because temperance is right in the dead center and wanting a new start. Um, heavy energy here of Sagitt fire energy. Sagittarius, Queen of Wands is here with the Fool, that's Aries, um, and the Devil. Also, I pulled a Wisdom card for you from the um, Wisdom Oracle deck of the House of Night. And um, you guys got cycles. So I feel like you guys have been going through what a lot of my collective have with uh, devil energy. And keep going around. You're caught in a, a loop or a vortex of cycles with emotionally unavailable people that brought you constant tower moments and... In your near future, when you cut this energy off, or if you're having a hard time, please get a hold of me. I do cord removal. I do private readings. Email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. I also make protective jewelry. Um, for healing heart, your heart chakra, for healing um, and opening up your chakras, I, do sh I have chakra jewelry. I have protective um, bracelets I make. If you need anything... Please get a hold of me so that we can start pulling in correct energy. I'm starting to see a, a big shift in a lot of different areas. And one of them is um, opportunity and possible opportunity in finances. So if you guys are struggling in that department, you could have been in the cycle that negatively affected your finances as well. Also... Get on, if you're interested in any of my jewelry, get on my gems. I did a video on here that talks about my gemstones. It's all about learning about gemstones and the power and the protection behind them. So, they're affordable. They're charged. They've been blessed by me, who has, um, works with Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, does cord removal. As well as been blessed by Shaman. Alright. Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? I've been selling quite a bit of jewelry now finally. Yeah. Someone's confused. You cut this energy off. This is a... Queens are usually cardinal energy. Kings are fixed energy. She represents Aries. Cancer, you could have an Aries confused right now. And or you were... And Aries put you in a state of confusion because you might have thought this was a past life person offering you, coming back to schmooze you. Six of Cups. Oh, sorry about that. And Temperance comes out right next to Temperance. You want to balance in this situation if it was a past life thing. You want the Ten of Cups. You want the Ace of Cups. You want this person, whoever you're dealing with, to come back and maybe offer you something. Um, it very well could be Sagittarius or have it in your charts. Sag and, Le uh, Sag and Aries are here a lot. You have to excuse me, I have a broken tooth and it's really bothering me. Aries, Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups here? Ten of Wands in reverse. I think it kind of gave up on the idea. You're tired of being confused. In your recent, this is all in your recent past. Because this cycle was just like, which one do I choose? Somebody didn't know what the fuck they wanted. Excuse my friend today. They didn't know what they wanted. Ten of Cups. You know you wanted. You wanted. You wanted it all. You wanted emotional fulfillment and balance in a situation. And then you, so you can move forward and then you start. Ten of Cups. With the Ten of Cups in reverse. This has been a cycle. 
when I see the Ten of Cups in the upright, and then the Ten of Cups, any card I see on top of another card in reverse, that's a cycle. You can go into a cycle with emotions and love. Temperance. Page of Wands came out. You were dealing with immature freaking fire signs, too. Possibly Sagittarius. And or, um, you might be looking at a Sag right now. And or offering, getting ready to offer um, a fiery, passionate new start. Here's a fool. New start. Look. This Six of Swords in reverse. That's not being able to move forward. Uh, kind of stuck in this. Cycles. And you can't figure out why. It's the great illusionist. Oh yeah, you see this here? Now I'm going to move over to this one over here. And then i got to move up to here. And here, you couldn't... The person was a Jedi. Seven of Pentacles. Incoming energy. Someone who's very barren, broke. Someone comes back. No. But they very well could be struggling financially. Very well could be getting karma for the bullshit. But then again, this also could be them if you turn down their offer. Being very nasty with their communication. Incoming bombs, I call this one. But you're going to have to make a decision. What are you going to do? Are you going to cut the cycle off? Well, Seven of Pentacles. Here comes the King of Swords. In reverse. Manipulator. With their words or actions. They don't mean to think. They, 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 they're a grand illusionist. Yeah, I swear if the magician comes out. The devil's here, so. The persons are breadcrumber. Gonna, they could come back and be like, yeah, well, they could come back and be nasty. You're not accepting this energy. I think you just might, um, block and be done with it. Two of Wands, that might be your resolve. And that'll give you victory over this devil energy. Blocking all these suckers. Two of Wands, why is the Two of Wands here? What's this decision? Quick decision. Boom, done. Boom. Done. For my cancer. Yeah. Here's your Seven of Pentacles. Their Seven of Pentacles is looking barren. They're still as, um... You're looking at all the things this person did to you. And how it messed with your, um, finances. And I think you're choosing yourself at this point. Like, yeah. Rite of passage. I got victory over you. And the devil. Not to mention your south node. The south node right now is in Capricorn. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. You're still stuck on somebody and you need energy work. Get a hold of me. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's stopping your um, growth. You have victory over this devil stuff, but the Ten of Pentacles. It's been hard. It's been really hard going for you. You might be um, looking for a new job, too. And or somebody's going to show up. Um, you yeah, have victory over. They're broke. They're broke as shit. The devil. Why is the devil here? Chained energy. You're chained to this. It's toxicity. It's the devil energy here. Why is the devil here for the outcome? You guys, our eyes are going to be opened what the real bullshit of what's going on and it's gonna piss you off here's the five of wands you're fighting this with every ounce of your being you're like you want you want to fight oh you want to fight we'll fight it's at the bottom of this deck knight of pentacles might have an offer coming in from an earth sign that's very slow going. What's underneath it? Page of Cups in reverse. Watch it. This very well could be a bogus offer. 
possibly from a Leo. Hangman in reverse. And there's a victory card again. It seems like it's just a constant cycle of tower moments and being stuck and money issues. And then there's the King of Wands. You're either dealing with some heavy fire energy. You're better off to be single because this person brought you nothing but bad luck and stunted you moving forward and being able to make plans because they were, and they're still spying on you too. They're still spying on you. The bottom of this deck, since I already tried to do this reading once, where was it? It was a hermit. Virgo energy. If you were dealing with a Virgo, Cancer, what are the cycle could have started with this um, Three of Cups? And here's the Two of Pentacles again, having to make that decision. You might not feel very sturdy. You might, might not feel very stable. You might have to trample snakes again. I think this was in your previous reading. This is mid-month. You're still dealing with this. So be looking for somebody coming in trying to gaslight you, trying to confuse you, trying to keep you stuck in cycles. Let's read what cycles means for the Wisdom Oracle with the Hermit. Go in and actually um, take inventory of who you're dealing with. 37. Number 37 could be significant to you as well. This is a burden you've been trying to drop for a long time. Same energy, different face. Okay, cycles. Funny, it goes, coincides with the moon. What goes around comes around in the message of symbols and cycles. The moon goes from new to full in cycles that repeat each month. Whatever you are planning to do or to reveal by asking your question will be revisited in, another circum, in other circumstances. Be clear about your actions. You will surely meet this experience again. Remember what goes around comes around. Like the moon that revolves around the planet, the energy that you express in your next action will orbit around you. Make sure it's a good one. You need to really go in right now. And you need to put out good karma, folks. It's so important right now. So that um, you can stop third-party situations and you can actually start making plans and being happy. Please. And then strength will follow and the Ace of Wands will follow and the Empress will follow. Come on. Start proclaiming your, your um, victory, please. You have it here. You have the right of passage to this Ten of Pentacles. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over with the same type of people who are actually children, the same results are going to happen. So you need to really make a decision whether or not this is worth it. And stick to what is best for you. I love you, Cancer. I hope that this cleared some stuff up. If you have any questions, need a private reading, need, need a... Removed from this situation and this situation broken, please email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. I do love readings. I do core removal. I do energy work. I do bonus readings. The whole nine. Um, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button if this resonates. I'd appreciate it. Stop going around in cycles with people who aren't worth it. Just not. I love you guys. You guys take care. Um, I'll be doing Aquarius's live love bonus next because they had the third most amount of um, likes on their video. I do love bonuses every month live where I pull cards for the collective. I do them too, but um, and then at the end, I usually uh, will take questions for donations. I love you guys. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.